Hi, Sylvia here with Travels by Trike, and today I want to talk about my air mattress. I want to describe why I picked it, and then why I decided to shorten it, and then I'm going to describe how I shortened it. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, so I've been traveling by tricycle kind of around the world for a number of years. Um, all my tours are in the winter, and before my last tour, which was across the United States, I needed to upgrade some gear, and one of the things I upgraded was my sleeping pad. I did this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I wanted a warmer pad, and I wanted a wider pad. I went with a Thermarest Neo Air X Therm Max. It's a really warm pad. The highest rating I've ever seen for a pad is 6. Um, this one's 5.7. It's very warm. And I also decided to go with a 25 inch wide pad. The standard width for a pad is 20 inches. I've always felt kind of cramped, um, like I just don't really fit on it. And so I, um, I decided to go with a wider pad. Now the thing about a wider pad is it only comes in one length. It's 77 inches long. I'm not even 60 inches tall, so that's an awful lot of extra material that I don't need. This shows up in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, it takes longer to blow it up. It takes longer in the morning to get the air out. And then when I roll it up to put it in my panniers, um, it's a bulkier, uh, heavier, it takes more room. And because it's 77 inches long, it takes up all the room in my tent from head to toe. And I really missed having that extra room by my head to put things I need in the night. So when I got home, I looked for ways to shorten the pad. And I went on YouTube and there was a guy who had a video and he had shortened his Neo Air. I couldn't believe it. And so I followed his uh, video and um, it was very successful. I did not video myself doing this. It didn't even occur to me, but I'm gonna leave a, a link below to the video that I use. So if you wanna um, shorten your pad, um, I, I recommend uh, re uh, watching his video. The only thing about the video is the sound quality is really terrible, but um, it has everything you need. Essentially what you're doing is um, you're going to cut your pad and you're going to reseal it with an iron. Um, you're going to need three things. Um, you're going to need a piece of wood or a measuring stick that's wider than the pad. You're going to need two clamps to hold that piece of wood down on top of the pad. And then you're going to need an iron uh, to make to uh, reseal it. What I did is I pumped up the pad. I laid on my back and I measured just below my heel. I thought that was going to be a, a really good length. And then I added two inches. I made the cut and I used that extra material I was going to throw away to practice. This is really important. The temperature of the iron is critical. If it's not hot enough, it won't seal. And if it's too hot, it's just going to burn the material. So the first time I did it, sure enough, it was too hot. So I turned the iron down, I cut away that piece, and I did it again. The iron wasn't quite hot enough. I didn't like the seal, so I turned it back up just a bit and I cut that away. The third time, um, it was a really good seal, but I did it one more time just to make sure it wasn't a fluke before I did it for real on my pad. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the factory uh, seal. I'm sure they have fancy equipment to make this. There's really not much to it. And then this is the seal um, that I did. Um, you can see here. I did this um, at the beginning of last summer, and so it's held really well um, for over a year. So I feel confident that anybody that um, uh, wants to shorten their pad could use this technique and be successful. So there you go. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.